I want my posture to be better. I want to walk a bit taller and I want Jamie's butt. No, you didn't. I was like, I want a big ass. <laughs> so hit those quads down to 90 degrees. Sophie's in the purple. So Jamie, feet forward a little oh, bit. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. my God. Sit back. Yeah. Sit back. Okay. I already need a wig and that's not helping. I actually, okay, I'll I don't fly. think I can do it, Sean. I can't do it. I can, Come on, I'll, quickly. I'll, okay, <laughs> okay. Sean Stafford is on the podcast. He's our trainer. Hello. Hello, Sean Stafford. Hey, guys. It's hey, the first man. time you've ever used my surname. I know. And I talking to me. I don't know why I did well, that. Well, he's quite well known, so we thought we'd give the surname a shout out. Thanks yeah. so much. Thanks L- for having me. Thanks, buddy. Listen, straight in there. We we trained the other day I together. Did we did a training session, and all I heard was, oh, oh, no, the no back more. Of my legs, these hamstrings, oh, are going to the loo. I'm like, ah. Does it they, hurt that much? Well, today's the first day they're not hurting. That's it's about right. This bit. I it was know. delayed onset. Dom's a delayed onset of muscle soreness. So basically, yeah. when you work so hard in the gym, mm-hmm. you basically break down the muscle fibers, mm-hmm. you release a lot of toxins, and that kind of stays in the muscles and creates like a residual soreness. Okay. The reason why it's delayed is it doesn't come out straight away. So you don't you, you may leave the gym feeling tired, yeah. but it's kind of 48 hours afterwards, your body will just almost go into a little bit of shock. And is that why and they hurt? Yeah, and your legs, especially your legs, yeah, you they know, were killing Usually you. go into a, a bit of a, a lockdown. Oh my God. Sean makes me do these pull-ups all the time and I can't stand them. I hate pull-ups more than anything. We should surely talk you're, about... You're, you're not alone. You're, you're not the only person that hates pull-ups. I haven't quite got up to the pull-up stage. Do you think these we're, arms, <laughs> these we're not arms there have told me up? <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not there yet. What, it's, what? It's, in, it's in pre-wedding. I'm lifting 2kg, so I mean, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you don't lift 2kg, do you? <laughs> we, hey, we've got to start somewhere, and it's it's all Am progress. I 10? No. Uh, de- depending on what exercise we're doing, but y- you're not the worst we have. You're not the worst we have. You're not the weakest. Okay. Uh, so, if, guess how much I bench press go? Oh, for God's sake, probably the same size as you, but that's no. Just get go and get do get guessing kilos. Fifty kg. More. Go keep going. Hundred. Is this like um yeah. that game show where it's like higher, lower? Yeah, pointless. <laughs> okay, uh, ask me. Ask me how much I squat. 250 because your ass is huge. Yes. <laughs> or if I'm Jamie, his bottom is huge. Yeah, got to go. No, not 250, but I, I do like. Should we should probably talk about um, where we first fell in love? Um, this about this time a year ago. You and Sean fell in love. Yeah, we oh. fell in low key, yeah, low key, low key bromance. Yeah. So basically, I'd been training Spencer for on and off for about seven years, and then when Spencer went to do Everest, he's like, "Don't give away my slots." Whatever you do, for the month and a half I'm away, don't give away my slots. And I was like, well, if you can find somebody else to take the slots, they'll be held. And so he gave Jamie a call. Jamie said, look, we've got a a wedding glow up to go on. Yeah. Let's turn you from Judge Rinder to Tinder. Yeah, we did that. And boy, did you. Yeah, Yeah. it was quick as well. And I think in that first six weeks when Spencer was away, you completely transformed the way not not only the way you looked but the way you moved as well yeah like I'm not my talking moves. dancing just yeah. the <laughs> way that I moved. just his posture just his, held myself better yeah just yeah, held maybe. himself better he a couple of inches taller no yeah, that's not true. everything everything i've become shorter if no, only when he's tired this is what he tells me guys have i told you this when jamie i sometimes you know barefoot obviously jamie has his little lifts in his shoes so when he's <laughs> in shoes he's, he's a lot taller and then with flat foot no shoes and i'm like Oh, you're you're tiny today, and he's like, had a bad night's sleep last night. Yeah, it's like, true. What? If he's ill or had a bad night's sleep, he shrinks. Mm. But if he's healthy and had a good night's sleep, he grows. That's there we the go. Theory. Yeah, that is actually true though. So far, honestly, if I if I have a bad night's sleep, then I'm shorter. Sean, also, you do this. So we've been training for a year now. Now Sophie has decided to come and join. We're joining together because we've obviously got the wedding coming up, so mm-hmm. we're getting into our real fit zone. Um, you give us something in the morning which I can only describe as liquid cocaine. I don't, I, I don't know what the hell it is. I swear my eyes dilate. <laughs> absolutely not. Sure, see, it does. Okay. And I come into Tastes meetings. like absolute heaven. Yeah. yeah. It's called a pre-workout, Yeah, right? And because That's we... That's what it is, the pre-workout. It's called a pre-workout, yeah. So you Why take it, obviously, it pre-workout. Yeah. Um, and because we train so early, chances are you guys haven't really had anything to eat, so your energy levels might be low. So this is kind of like a combination of like caffeine and some cayenne pepper, some aminos, that sort of stuff. Just like a really nice concoction to just Mm. wake you up mentally, physically, maybe sexually. Yeah, Um, it does. So that we can have a really good session at 7.30 in the morning. 
It's yeah. always good for the guy who doesn't drink caffeine as well. He His mouth sometimes goes, he's like, my mouth's pretty dry. Yeah. Are you okay? For me, I'm like, sweet. It doesn't even touch the side. Yeah, it hits, it hits people different. And I think Jamie is a little bit sensitive. He's a sensitive flower. I had it the other day where honestly, I always go, Nick, sure, can I have no stim? And I call it no stim. Like, no stim. No stim. No, no stimulation. No stim. I'm like, no stim. He's like, yeah, sure. And then the other day, he handed me this bottle. I drank it. And honestly, I was like, I, I was having a low key panic attack. <laughs> Smile flipping. I, I know. And, I was, yes. and then Sean would ask you a question. I just look at him and I'm just silent. <laughs> just, my whole body is trying to survive. <laughs> well, so, so when, so obviously Jamie and Spencer train together quite a lot in the morning and they have different colors because Spencer can, Spencer can have four double espressos. He's a mule. Like 14 pre workouts and then not He's even, not even alter him. Whereas Jamie can sniff half a, half a tub of pre workout and, and he's done. My God. So it's, that, it's the mouth. He's like, my mouth's so dry. I'm like, what the hell have you taken? Yeah. <laughs> completely, <laughs> completely street legal. But it's the whole point of a pre workout is just mm. to basically allow you to raise the intensity of your training session. You know, from a physiological point of view, but from a mental point of view as well. It just gets you in the zone and allows you to push yourself. Pretty Honestly, hard. I feel like I can, I can, I can lift the world. Yeah, that's the whole point. Okay, listen, we need to talk about wedding glow up. Okay, we're getting married. It's a pretty much a month away. Yeah, we're ready for it. What if someone is going to get married and needs to have a glow? What do they need to do to get ready? There's a couple of easy wins. So the first thing you can do, if you're looking to just look a little bit better, feel a little bit better in the run up to your wedding, the low hanging fruit here is upping your hydration. So mm. drink more. It sounds really basic, but it makes a big difference. If you drink more water, your body will be much more efficient. So for guys, it's probably nearer to three liters and for girls, it's probably nearer to two. But if you really? can commit to doing that daily, it's an, wow. in, it's an instant, it's so instant fix. Surely I pee so much. You, you pee a lot. You pee a yeah. lot. But that's also, that's also your body detoxing. You know, that's also you getting rid of a lot of toxins in your body and a lot of things that your body doesn't really want to hold on to. Got it. Your body's 85% water. So if you are dehydrated, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you're slightly Oxford dehydrated, over here in case you know. <laughs> so yeah, just degrees, <laughs> no big deal. Um, but if you're if you're slightly dehydrated, your performance yeah. is drastically impacted. So it's one of those things where it's such an easy fix. Drink more water, you feel better, you look better, you get leaner. Also, you get leaner. You get leaner. You're less hungry. Also, why? Yeah, because a lot yeah. of the time people hunger gremlin or what's it called? I've no Gren idea. gremlin. I've I've no Come on, Oxford degree. Oh, Gremlin. Gremlin, the so hunger So I thought we were talking about a Gremlin. Yeah. I, was like, oh, well, I, was, I did say Gremlin, but I thought you know said how I... Tom Gremlin. Gremlin. I was... Not Tom Gremlin. Tom Gremlin does not come oh, out. Oh, I wish it was it. But it's one of those things where, <laughs> like, a lot of the time when people are thirsty or dehydrated, they yeah. mistake it for hunger. And so therefore they'll go and eat additional calories, which they don't necessarily need. Whereas they can drink water and it and it fills the gap. That's why you're when you're hungover... Your body's dehydrated yeah. and that's why you're you're hungry. So yeah. actually all you do is down the water or the pre pre workout drink. Well you could just yeah, I think if girls aim for around two liters of water as a base that's level and guys thing. aim for three liters, and then if you exercise for every hour you exercise, you add a liter of water, that would be optimal hydration, give or take. I don't drink anywhere near enough water. I drink a lot yeah. of water, but no, I put don't. squash in it. Does that he thinks that doesn't count? He should put squash in it. That's okay. I'd say that's Get okay. out of here, Sean. Yeah, yeah, also, also, as long as Get yeah, out a, here, a, little, not a, little true. Bit, a little bit of sugar, gobble, a little gobble, bit, gobble. a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt to get the electrolytes, <laughs> that sort of stuff going, and and then a little bit of flavour will help you drink it. You're giving away my secrets. Is this to absolve you of your sins? There's this delicious hummus that I get. Oh my god, it's like velvety and just fun, and <laughs> I and I get a little cracker. It is and so I, fun. It's so fun, and I get a little cracker, and I scoop out that hummus. You and don't like, actually. You're weird. You dip. Which I find really disconcerting. Dips. Them. Yeah, because my pet peeve, Sean, do you know what they are? Is when people shovel. Scoopers. scoopers. Oh, I'm a scooper. Yeah. What the hell is it there for? Well, to you dip can, it? No, you don't, stop being a scooper. Ooh. Be a dipper. But also hummus, again, quite, 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 quite <laughs> high calorie in fact. Quite, I'm, I'm the calorie over. police over here. But, okay. this, but that, if we're looking at another easy little bit of low-hanging fruit and the kind of the run-up to someone's yeah. body, right? Reducing your calories, being in a calorie deficit will help you lose weight, right? So even if... You know, a small thing you can do without necessarily going mm. too sort of meticulous with your calorie counting. If you just, if you're having your your dinner on what would be a normal size plate, if yeah. you shift it a couple of weeks before your wedding, shift it to a small plate. It would what it, what it does shop. is it just is portion control. So you don't have to necessarily oh, change <laughs> change what you're eating. You just have to reduce the amount. That is and that will and that will surely just help that you drop. is not going to work. That is not. I my would 40s. just I would put onto a small plate. 
eat it, and then go back, and then just put more <laughs> onto the small plate. But then, but then, but then, rather than just clearing a plate, which is what we've kind of been taught yeah. since we were knee high to a grasshopper, what you're doing is you're actually making that conscious effort to go and refill your plate, yeah. which gives you the opportunity to intuitive eating to think about, you know, do I really want this or not? So okay, it's just another area in which you can have a really easy way to reduce the amount of calories that you're eating. Got also, it. have you heard of intermittent fasting? No. Oh yeah, that's when you don't eat. No, I love breakfast. Okay. So I'm not very good at that. Well, you can. You Jamie can gets still... really like <laughs> bewildered by how much how big my breakfast is. But you can still do intermittent <laughs> fasting. He's having like, breakfast. three eggs and a whole packet of smoked salmon. I'm like, well, fuck you. <laughs> have something to eat. But all... <laughs> what are you throwing me? An what are you... apple. <laughs> <laughs> a banana. But that's healthy, right? Loads of good fats. You but also, you yeah, and it's... a whole guacamole. Yeah, can I? Also... Just, you have a whole guacamole. You also cut out cabbage. Yeah, I'm really weird. I like raw cabbage. Is what I have. Raw cabbage, a little bit of that. I get the holy guacamole, the yeah. whole tub, which is two avocados yeah. mushed, a whole packet of smoked salmon, and three scrambled eggs. But then my lunch is quite smaller. Yeah, and I'm then just she hung- has a protein shake and goes on a run. <laughs> <laughs> but and then what? I train with you, and then I have a protein shake. <laughs> But that, but that's there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, also, your great. goals are very different. Whereas your goals are to to rep up and and get a little bit leaner for your wedding. Yeah. Sophie's is the opposite, right? Sophie's is time to get want to get hen. Yeah, you just want to get jacked. <laughs> Sophie just wants to get jacked, which I is great. You. <laughs> She's got a wedding dress to fill out, I'll right? be able to lift you during the dances. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt you guys have already got some sort of TikTok dance yeah. planned. Oh, and Sophie's, yeah. Sophie's finale is the dirty <laughs> dancing, the lifting up Jamie. Mm. Well, let's work more on your neck because it's looking small at the moment. Wow. <laughs> okay. Joking, he looks phenomenal. Sean, you did a fantastic job. He's well, doing all right. He's yeah. doing all right. We're, like, on the, we're, on the final, we're on the final stretch. Sean, when I first started training and I, my body started to train... I walked down the stairs once topless and Sophie looked at me and went, you're sexy. There we go. Yeah. Can you, can you remember that? She did do that. I remember it. So you did? You said you look sexy at the moment. Yeah, but a lot of people think you look great. You've really changed. Sean, like, I mean... It has, it's, cha- it's, it's been a big switch it's around. It's like a real... It's quite crazy. Yeah, Your but, butt's always been enormous. I would maybe almost... People think he's had butt fillers. Yeah, I think he has as well. <laughs> but they're enormous, his butt. He's str- strong glutes. He's got I a big squat on him. I would pay for his ass. People do, people butt, do. Who thinks I've had butt filler? Well, there's a lot of filler games. No, there's, a, there's a group right? on the dark web. There's a group on the Joking. dark web, which is like the Jamie Lang glute filler group. <laughs> I don't have butt filler. Like, what, well, I what? might, like, if I ever wanted a butt job, I don't know if you can get this, I'd just take a photo of Jamie's butt and be like, can I have it like that? Is that good? Mm. It's, kind, it's kind of, so when, I know when we first had our consultation, Sophie came in and was like, you know, I was like, so what, what's, what's the end game I want here? a butt like my boyfriend. Yeah, well, what's, what's the end game here? She says, I want my posture to be better. I want to walk a bit taller and I want Jamie's butt. No, you just, didn't. I was like, I want a big ass. <laughs> And I was just like, done. Well, we built Jamie's bum, so we can do sure, the same for like, you. Don't you worry. Sweet. No problem at all. Yeah, okay. it's going to be curvy and delicious. No, I, uh, so you... <laughs> Vomit, why? Curvy <laughs> and no, delicious. No, no, I did not mean to say that. Cut. <laughs> Cut what? Cut that bit out. So he just wants to be curvy and delicious. No, delicious. <laughs> oh, it's almost as worse as... But it's almost as bad as the word lush, which you use quite a lot. I got Sean, a lot. I feel like you're quite a lush. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the word lush. Spencer, Spencer uses the word lush. Uh, he uses the word delish. Yeah, delish. He uses delish. He uses delish. So you're telling me, Shawnee, that when I order my, I, I, I have a craving for ice cream. I had mm-hmm. this peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. Hackney, Hackney, Hackney gelato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Shout out to those guys. I honestly go through about half a pot of that. That's not a good thing. Do you know what? As in, I'm I'm all for flexible dieting. So I think that the the best sort of plan is one that you can stick to. Mm-hmm. And as long as you factor in those, it's a bit like um, it's a bit like money, right? Treat your calories like money and, and your bank account. Yeah. If you've got a hundred quid for the week, or you've got three and a half thousand calories a day, or whatever it is, yeah. Mm. If you can allow yourself that flexibility to have the, to still have the things that you want, chances are you're going to stick to the stick to the plan for longer. It's going to be more successful in the long term. So allowing half a tub of Hackney Gelato every week is absolutely a strategy for success. It's, abs- it's definitely not half a tub. But I mean, yeah, no, one, no one eats half a tub. It's I eat half tub. a tub. I, uh, he eats half a tub of that one and then he dips into the chocolate and hazelnut and the half a tub is that. And if there's even a <laughs> scrape, because Jamie's a scraper, if there's a scoop from me, one scoop, he's like, you ate my ice cream. Yeah, yeah, because it's annoying because you scoop in. Scrape we, we, it. We, 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 yeah, dipper, scooper. 
Oh my we god. We've established. I honestly don't think we should be getting married because honestly we are so different. It's frightening. Um <laughs> To be honest, opposites do it from someone who's been married for quite a while, opposites do it do work. You need and you your need wife's to have opposites. Called, what's her name? Sophie. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> she, she's a dipper. Whoa. She's 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 Whoa. a dipper. She's Is she a, dipper. a dipper. She's a dipper. I'm a scooper. There we go. It, yeah. works. it works. I don't think it works. Shona, you've been married for how many years? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen years. What's 14 the secret years. to a happy marriage? Go. Uh, do you know what? Teamwork and respect. Teamwork and respect. Couldn't agree more. I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's teamwork. Being a team. Yeah, being a team and being respectful of each other. It's the most important thing. Because also, I've been working this out to get philosophical for a second. I'm not even married. I'm going to sit up for this. Um, life is about compromises. And like, there are some things that I like and Sophie doesn't like. And same with you and your yeah. wife. And you just have to come together and, and agree things. As long as your value structure is the same. So do you know what yeah. I mean? As long as your values, when you pin them to a post, are, are kind of aligned. The day-to-day stuff doesn't really matter. You can sort it out. You learn to let stuff go. You learn to compromise. That's just teamwork. Mm. But um, as long as you still find each other sexy, as long as you still find each other funny, and you know you want to spend time with each other, your mates, yeah, last like forever. Me. Do you still find me sexy, Sophie? Uh, so sexy. You're gonna have to stick with Sean for the rest of your life. I That's think. fine. I'm happy to do that. Just quick, do you find me sexy? So sexy, a little fleece on you. <laughs> just not. <laughs> what was that do you noise? find me sexy? I love coloured socks and trainers. There's nothing about me. My mum tried Jamie's trainers on in the house. She's like, whoa. I've put on a pair of heels. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly. Like, Sarah, Sarah honestly. with the low key. Yeah, yeah, Sarah with oh, the low key. I actually put yeah. them on and I'm like, I'm 10 foot tall. No, it's because they got a spring in them because I run in them. So we got hydration, great tip. Yeah. Portion control, great tip. Give me another great wedding tip. So intermittent fasting, which we talked about earlier, mm. which is it's not necessarily missing breakfast. It's just shrinking your feeding window. Yeah. So what it does is it means that you fast for 16 hours of the day. Uh-huh. It helps if eight of those are you're, you're asleep. And then you eat within that eight hour window. So do you do that? I do do it. Yeah. So I, sk- yeah. I skip breakfast. I have greens and burn, but the picante juice oh. um, in the morning. And then I won't eat till lunchtime. And all it does is it, it makes managing your calories in a smaller window. So it means that you're not really that hungry. And it also does a lot of physiological things. So like it will help boost your growth factors. It all, there's been a lot of research that it helps. growth factors? Helps your digestive system. Helps digestive system. It it helps your energy levels. But it also, if if you don't have to worry about eating all the time, it saves you time also. But if you've got a, a smaller window in which you're eating, chances are you're going to eat a little bit less. So it's because it's going to be easier for you to stick to that calorie deficit long term. That's so, totally wrong for me. So th- if I have a small window, I nail it. But that's okay. As long as you, so if you've got you 2000 crazy. calories in a day, yeah. yeah. if you're spreading that out over the time you're awake from the moment you wake up at seven, you're eating breakfast and the moment you go to bed at night is seven or, or have your last meal at seven or eight o'clock at night. That's 13 mm. hours. Chances are you're going to overeat within that. If you condense it to eight, Chances are those meals are going to be bigger. They're going to fill you up a bit more. And, mm. and calorie-wise, you're probably still just about scraping into your calorie allowance for the day. Okay. So it's just another strategy that might make it yeah. easier God. for people to lose weight. Do you know what? Wedding is just stressful. It costs money. You, there's problems around it. And then you have to just worry about what you're eating. Well, you don't, you don't have to worry about what you're eating. So in, when, it comes to, when it comes to weddings, like one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen both brides and grooms make mm. is they get so stressed about the wedding day and how they look and how they want to diet, 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 train, mm. train, train, that they go too far and they regret it. And they end up not looking like themselves. Exactly. So like they look back at the photos of the big day and they're thinking, do you know what? That, that doesn't really look like me. Mm. And so they, they kind of regret going so far. Also, as you guys all know, you know, you've got a suit made and you've got a wedding dress made. And if you yeah. and if you go too far and you have to factor in last minute adjustments to the dress or to the suit, it just uh, adds yeah. more stress to the table, right? Producer Jack and I went and tried on my suit last episode and uh, it was a it was a little bit big for me. We anyway, talking about upper body, right? Upper body, it was too big for you. It was just it was upper body. It was <laughs> the trousers. The trousers, the trousers were too long. The trousers and were it was too long. Splitting on the bar. The trousers were just too long. That's what yeah. it was. So actually, I've shrunk. So that's not you're tired. It's okay. I, I am a little. You're, bit tired. you're getting married shirtless anyway, right? Yeah, that's I, that's the whole Spence point of this. Spencer's definitely coming shirtless. Spencer has said that he. Firstly, I had to tell Spencer today that he's not uh, officiating the wedding. Spencer Matthews, who also trains with Sean with me, thought that he was marrying us. I said. Ask him I was going to say that, that I've been in the room when you've said that he is the one marrying. Thank you, Sean. This uh, is he's classic, not. Jamie. No, he's not. I told him today. I said, no, "You're not married." You're... How did he take it? He he, he was surprised, and <laughs> and then I've, he... se- I've seen his se- his sermon. It's he's, good. 
Spencer's he's not marrying us. There's no freaking way. He married ways. them. It's only He's fair. not marrying us. And then secondly, he said he's going to turn up in a body painted tux. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> That whole thing's shocking. Okay, Shawnee, listen. Um, by the way, do you know Sean was uh, a, a world champion bodybuilder? I can only imagine. Yeah. It was a former life. Do you know I it was 10 years ago? Was it 10 years, 10 years ago? 10 years ago. Is that you... when you met Sophie? No, I met Sophie. They've been 20, married 14 years. Yeah, I met Sophie nearly 20 years ago. We were, wow. yeah, 21. I was 21. She was 22. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Young love. Young love. Babe. Hey, listen, so Shawnee, um, before you go, I thought we could do a fun little thing where you give us a quick little quiz. Great. And we're going to put ourselves in a funny sort of uh, position where we're going to see if we can hold it. It's going to be a competition between you and I, so. Oh, not plank. Oh, can we do a squat? It's, it's not plank. It's a wall set. Oh, it's a wall oh, set. Oh, I'm in. All right, boom, I'm in too. So we're going to do a little quiz on the wall set. You ready for this? Born ready. Oh, I'm born Wait. ready, baby. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to need you to do is drop down into a wall set. So hit those quads down to 90 degrees. It? Sophie's in the perfect position. Jamie, feet forward a little oh, bit. Oh, my right. God. Sit back. Sit back. I okay. already need a wing, and that's not helping. <laughs> I actually... Okay, I'll fire. I don't think I can do it, Sean. I can't do it. I can, Come on, I'll, quickly. I'll, okay, <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to fire questions. Ask the question, Sean. Okay. You'll get lower, bitch. How many calories... <laughs> how many calories in a gram of protein? Oh, uh, um, 250. Um, 115. How many calories in one gram of uh, protein? One. One. No. Two. Ten. <laughs> Fifteen. Five. Ah! Five. Five. Ah! Ten. Fifteen grams of cat protein is like 115 cat grams. Protein. So okay. fifteen. Uh, okay. The I can't do this wrong. I okay, the answer's up. four. Right. Go. What, what muscle groups do you primarily work in a squat? Quads. 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 I can't do it. I'm Sophie, oh. I'm so oh, I could keep Sophie, going. Sophie's the winner. Oh my high. god, that is the worst thing I've ever done in my Are you life. Joking? All right, round two. Oh my okay, god. so Sophie wins round one. I can't do that. Sophie wins round one. Best of three. I've got the worst head rush I've ever had in my life. Yeah, okay, really right, good. ready for round two. Are you ready for I round two? Do that, Get down into it. Jamie, come on. Doing it she is, she's bang on. Let's her go. Jamie, drop in. It's like a shelf or something. Uh, yeah, because it is a shelf. Sorry. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, get down get into the down, squat. Get down, pussy. No, that's fine. Get, I'm not missing Jamie, come on, come on. You're faking Come on. Come on, <laughs> shake him out, shake him out, out, shake okay. him out, river dance. Okay, one, two, three, right, three, three two, two, one, squat down. Lower. Okay. You're not in. To, really to the nearest kilo, how much does a fully grown honey badger weigh? Oh come on, uh, Sean. Forty-five kilos. No. Twenty-five. No. Uh, Eighteen. Sixty-eight. No. Thirty-two. Hundred and ten. Uh, uh, Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Ten. Twenty-five. Twenty. Ten. Ten. Oh. Oh, I can't do anyone. Yes, oh, I will. Oh. It's one all. No, sorry, I thought the game was over. Okay, so Jamie won. Okay, so now it's one apiece. We have oh, one. We have one final round. We have one final round. Okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay. Yeah, Who is better in bed, Jamie Me. or Spencer? Oh. <laughs> Jamie, almost has Spencer. Well, yeah. Why okay. would that be confusing? Who... <laughs> you slept with Spencer. I don't really Who... understand that. Who is the most likely to jump in front of a bullet for the other person? Uh, me. Sophie for me. 100%. Sure. Okay, Jamie. <gasps> okay, and last one. How many calories are in a gram of fat? Oh, fuck. Sean, I don't know. Five. 